Hi, my name is Jared Smith, and in today's How to Win series, we're going to be analyzing the Tampa plastic surgery market. Now, even if you're not a plastic surgeon in Tampa or a plastic surgeon at all, there's going to be a lot that you can learn, especially if you're a local business. So let's go ahead and dive in. My analysis today is going to focus on the top three results, and we're going to look at kind of what they're doing well and where they may be able to improve. So uh, as a starting point, what I like to do is I like to start with the SERP analyzer from Surfer SEO. This kind of gives me a high level overview of where their strengths are and where the weaknesses are for each of the competitors. It also tells me, you know, how uh, long the pages need to be, how many words need to be on each of them. So it's a really helpful tool for an initial analysis. All right, so let's dive in. There's a couple scores I want to highlight over here. Um, this is the content score, as you can see, it's on a scale from one to 100. And you can see that all of these competitors are pretty low, except for these guys down here, landed plastic surgery. This other box I want to highlight, this other score, is the domain score. And this is on a scale from one to 10. And so you can see none of them have a really high domain score and none of them have a high content score which if I was a, a new entry into this market, I would be very excited about that. Um, pretty much every page we publish, we like to see the score 70 plus. Sometimes it's a little hard to get higher than that, um, but I would say as a general rule of thumb, 70 plus is a good start. So um, one of the benefits as I was looking at this, uh, of this top spot, because you can see their content score is lower uh, than some of these others, and they don't have uh, a high domain score uh, like, you know, maybe these guys. I think it would be natural to think, well, this guy has a higher content score and he has a higher domain score. Obviously, there's hundreds, if not thousands of different factors that Google's looking at. Um, but one of the benefits that these guys have, and if you were starting a new business and you wanted to compete quickly, uh, which... Who doesn't want to compete quickly? Um, the benefit that these guys have is they have their main keyword or a variation of their main keyword in their domain name and in their business name. The new the business is actually called New Tampa Plastic Surgery. What's the domain name? New Tampa Plastic Surgery. That means that most of the websites that link over to this probably have new Tampa plastic surgery as the anchor text. In other words, Tampa plastic surgery is going to be in all or most of those links, which is going to give them a huge edge. The reason being is when Google is looking at ranking a website, they want to rank brands. And if your brand has your keyword in it, you're going to rank better. One of the things you'll notice in a lot of, uh, you know, personal injury markets, is a lot of law firms have changed their name to be, you know, instead of XYZ law firm or Smith law firm, it's now Smith injury lawyers, Smith injury and car accident lawyers, things like that. That's because they've realized about a decade ago that if you change your business name to include your main keywords, it gives you an enormous advantage. And that's both in the organic results and in the map results. So um, these guys, even though they don't have as strong of a website from either of these perspectives that have an advantage because their business name includes their core keywords. So that's a really big deal. All right, now that we've kind of gone through that, let's take a look at their links. Now I wanna to go to the batch analysis. I really like this particular component of Ahrefs because you can see again, how that brand name is really giving these guys a boost. NewTampaPlasticSurgery.com domain rating. Now this is uh, a rating on a scale from one to 100. And you can see they only have a seven. They only have, where is it? Here's what I'd like to look at, referring domains. Total of 78 referring domains. That's a total of 78 unique websites that are linking over to them. This is a really low domain rating, right? Normally you wouldn't be able to compete in a market like plastic surgery with a domain rating of seven, but because they have their business name uh, include the keywords, they can rank. And you can see these guys, both of the number two and number three competitors are stronger. Their domain ratings are higher, the higher, the better. So these guys have a, David's got a 17 and a DC or Dr. Uh, Coberly or C Oberly, I'm not sure how that is, uh, is a 23. But look at this, 
much more referring domains. So that would tell me um, if I were entering this market, I would be looking to build about 250 to 300 links over a period of about four to five months to get things off the ground. And I would focus most of my attention on building citations, which are local directory links. Um, these are links like Super Pages, Yellow Pages, Yelp, things like that. I would make sure that all of my citation sources are lined up, verified, and uh, as filled out as possible. And that's going to give me a huge advantage. The other thing I want to talk a little bit about is page speed. So I'm going to flip over to Google's tool, PageSpeed Insights, uh, for this particular analysis. And you can see that on mobile, their core web vitals have failed. And that just means that over the course of, I think it's about 28 to 30 days, um, their site is not as fast as what Google would like for it to be. So that's on mobile. We can see the desktop score is also has, also has a failing score. I'm going to focus on mobile just because mobile is more important these days. There's more people searching on mobile devices than there are on desktop. What I would do to fix this is there's basically two ways to go about this. One is you go through the website and, um, you know, Google does a really nice job of kind of sharing. Here's all the different issues going on with it. If I had some resources, though, um, and I didn't want to pay a, a webmaster realistically a handful of hours to go through the site, um, what I would do is I would download a tool called Nitro Pack. And it's a paid uh, plugin for WordPress. Um, and it's about, I want to say, between $65, $75 a month, somewhere in there. And it will make a dramatic difference. I use this on literally all of my client websites, and it makes a huge difference in their um, site speed scores, which does two things. First of which, it's going to provide, you know, a, a more than likely a passing grade for Google, which is going to provide it an increment in um, an increment boost in rankings. But the other side of this is we have to think about the user that's actually visiting the website on their mobile device and how many people want to wait, you know, three, four seconds uh, for a website to load. Maybe, you know, 50%, but 50% of you are gonna be like, this thing's too slow. I'm going to go back to Google, which actually when a user goes back to Google and then clicks on another listing, uh, that kind of dings your, your overall trust signal to Google. So you don't want to have that. So, um, you know, speeding up your website is going to provide a conversion boost. More people are going to be happy with the website experience. And it's also going to provide an SEO boost uh, because less people are going back to Google and Google can tell that you're providing an optimal experience. So if I had unlimited resources for a client, client I'd probably fix all this stuff. And then I would also add Nitro Pack, um, but if I had limited resources and I didn't know a great webmaster or whatever, I would just download Nitro Pack and I will show you real quickly kind of what that site looks like, nitropack.io. That's it. So um, great tool. I literally cannot recommend them enough. Um, I do a lot of business with them because they just, they really have the best possible solution for site speed issues. Now let's see if uh, my local search audit is complete. Looks like it is. Um, and you can see actually from a, this is from a map perspective. They're doing a lot of things, you know, fairly well. Uh, they've got 150 linking domains according to this particular tool. Um, they're ranking well in Google. Maps is having some sort of quirky issue today. So that's why that's not showing up very well. Um, but we can see that, you know, for the most part, they're doing okay. I want to flip over real quick to their map listing here and highlight a couple things. One is whatever you put in this area, this is considered the official business name. Um, and so it can be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. For me, um, I don't know how many doctors, I didn't do like a deep dive into this website to see how many different doctors are there. But whatever you have as the official business name, that needs to be on every single citation in other words, local directory listing you create. So every single local directory listing needs to have this doctor's name in it. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. It felt a little long to me um, because, you know, then you're going to have your Yelp profile, your Facebook profile, your super pages. Everything has to be super, super long. Again, you know, it'd be one of those things I'd be like, how is important is it to have the doctor in there? You know, he's, he's ranking pretty well at this point. But if I was starting from scratch, I'd be like, 
eh, probably just call this new Tampa plastic surgery and just leave it at that. I think that's going to be a little bit cleaner just from every perspective. Um, but we can see, you know, he's got the right category in place. Um, he's got a lot of good things going here. What I would like to see though, obviously good reviews is with every business, I'd like to see a lot more images. They only have 14 photos. I'm guessing because this is a plastic surgeon, he's got hundreds of photos. And the more active you are, the more you keep up with your Google My Business profile, uh, you know, the better, the stronger the signal, the stronger the trust signal with Google. So I would have somebody probably update this every week. Um, I, some of the most successful businesses I know that do well in the maps, they update it on a very regular basis, monthly, weekly, just depends on, you know, the competition within the niche. Obviously, this is not overly competitive, um, but I would like to see at least 50, if not 100 images here. And I would probably spread that out, you know, over a period of a couple months uh, while I'm uploading those. Again, I wouldn't probably just do all that at one time because I want to show Google we're, we're making regular updates to it. But overall, not bad. I would just make sure that this part is completely uh, filled out. If there are any other amenities or if there is any other planning accessibility things that could be added. Again, the more you can fill out these profiles, uh, the better you tend to rank, the, the stronger the signal to Google that that it's a, a legit business and B that they're, you know, just providing all the information to the users that they can. So I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, uh, please like and subscribe so that other people can also find this video. Thanks so much.